to the Bethlehem Corner. My name is Janine Santoro and I currently serve as the Director of Equity and Inclusion for the City of Bethlehem. Today we are here at Fairview Park on its final rebuild day, only moments away from the ribbon cutting. We're talking to Mayor Reynolds and Deputy Director of Community Development, Sarah Satulo, on how it's been going. Thanks for joining us. Three days have been really exciting here on the west side of Bethlehem with the building of Fairview Park. We know that this was made possible through Kaboom, a nonprofit that builds playgrounds for children on a national scale and whose mission is to end play space inequity for good. So, what was it about Fairview Park that made this a priority for both the city of Bethlehem and for Kaboom? Well, we're lucky enough that the PA Municipal League is hosting its annual conference here and they always build a Kaboom playground in their host city. So they reached out and uh, allowed Mayor Reynolds and our team to identify a park that was really in need of some love. And if you've ever been to Fairview Park, you know, it was pretty sad. The playground equipment was about 30 years old. It was a sea of asphalt, but it was still very heavily utilized by the community. And we heard from residents of the West Side that this was their kind of top priority for reinvestment. And we were lucky enough that we could make this opportunity happen. What was the partnership between Kaboom and the city of Bethlehem like? And what was the community participation uh, from the early planning stages to the current build out? The neatest part about Kaboom is that they design their play spaces with the community. So we started out with a design day at Calypso Elementary school um, in the evening where anybody in the neighborhood, not just Calypso families, were invited to come in and um, draw what their dream play space would look like. And then we also were able to look at examples of the playground equipment that could be here. And the community voted on all the features that we see um, in here. They selected everything from the colors to the swings to the slides. This has been a multi-month planning process working really closely where we had um, bi-weekly calls, um, going through every single detail of this process with Kaboom and all of our community and neighborhood partners. What have been some of the joys, the challenges, and the surprises, surprises. that have come up? So um, the major challenge for us and on my team was that slide over there. It nearly <laughs> killed us, but it is up and there are going to be children going down it in three days. It's taken more than 100 volunteers and our amazing grounds and public works crew spent two months prepping the park ahead of time. So there really is a lot of back end work that has to happen. Bethlehem is over 30 parks, with quite a few of them having playground equipment, but what makes Fairview Park's construction today unique from the others? What can residents and visitors expect to find here that's different from the other parks? Well, we're gonna have our first multi-sport court for the city of Bethlehem, um, where they're gonna be able to play volleyball, basketball, and um, soccer, so that's unique. We are not gonna have that anywhere else in the city. Um, and it, this is one of our um, parks where we've prioritized ADA accessible features, so we're gonna have ADA swings. I, I think it's just super unique that it was designed by the kids in the neighborhood and then they're gonna get to be the ones utilizing it. I live about a block away with my wife Jennifer and our son Landon. Becoming a parent really changed one's perspective. Uh, it wasn't until I became a parent that I truly started to appreciate uh, the importance of the local parks that Bethlehem has to offer. We come here to use the playground, the slide and swings. We play basketball, football, soccer, baseball. We ride bikes here. We bring our toy cars from home and we send them down the ramp by the steps. We're super excited for the newly rebuilt Fairview Park because it will continue to be a place where Bethlehem kids can come play and laugh. Families can con connect and friendships can be made. So thank you to the city of Bethlehem, their public work works department, Mayor Reynolds, the PA Municipal League and Kaboom, and thank you to all the other sponsors and to all the volunteers who have been here over the past three days. May Fairview Park continue to be a source of joy for our growing families in the community. Thank you. All right, on the count of three, this is the real one. One, two, three. Mayor Reynolds, how was it being out today? We saw you with the mulch, we saw you helping build the playground equipment. So what are your thoughts about the, today, the reflections you have? Just an amazing day for the city of Bethlehem. I mean, we had so many neighbors, so many community partners that came out and really put the work in. Um, you know, we were mixing the cement, we were putting the mulch down, we were setting everything up, we were building the playground. Uh, just one of those like special feeling days, like those days when you just like leave and you're just like, oh my gosh, we live in such a beautiful community. And every time I think everybody goes by this, this park now, they're going to think about this day and what we kind of shared together is that experience in creating this park. And what were some of the joys and surprises, things that you yeah. found interesting? It, one of the joys is always meeting people I've never met before. 
um, and just getting to know people saying, oh, I live on Prospect, I live in 7th Avenue, I live down on 1st Avenue, and I wanted to come, or like I bring my kids here. There was I was moving mulch with a, with a, a young woman that was like 25 years old. Her mom w lives in a different part of the west side, and her grandmother lives around the corner. And her grandmother was talking about how she would bring her and her sister here when they were really little. Um, so it's just hearing those stories were, were really, really special. Um, and uh, and Natalie and Leo stopped by, so like I got Aww. to have my first parent experience about like kid park fun. So yeah, that was that was great too. Well, we're really thankful to you and to the whole group that came and built out the playground, all the community partners, Kaboom.